Hello there, my name is Tracy Elsom and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Canada and welcome to my Paper Craft With Me YouTube channel. Today I want to show you a very quick tip that I have for using this punch. This is the very best trio punch from Stampin' Up! You can see it has three different options. You've got a straight corner, you've got a fancy corner and you've got a slot and basically it looks like that when you press down in the center all three come down but only the bit that you've put your paper in actually gets cut so you have a corner area there a corner area there and a straight line there um, I tend to use the slot much more than I do the other two it's very very versatile but sometimes when I want to use it in the center of something like a bookmark or a gift tag I have to mark the card so that I can make sure it's centered now I have a quick tip so that I won't have to do that anymore and what I'm going to use is this is Stampin' Up! small grid paper it comes in a pad it's actually designed to work with the Stamparata stamp platform but any grid paper any squared paper will do what I'm going to do is I'm going to place now if you can see there is a line there that's the center line so I'm going to place the center line of this punch and line it up with one of the lines on my grid paper here and then I'm going to push it back this is the stop where the paper actually goes in so with it lined up that way I'm just going to push it back you can see that bring it forward a bit for you I'm going to push it back so that I've kind of lined up those lines I'm still on that center line but I've lined up straight there and then I'm just going to get a pen And I'm going to draw around it like that so that gives me the shape that I need now all I have to do is cut this out so I'll get my paper snips and I'm going to cut around that curve like that if I can do it properly when I put that inside I can see and line up that section with that line now it's actually sticking out a little bit that's not a huge problem if I want to make it a little bit smaller I can just trim that back edge a little bit there we go so that would be my piece of paper I'll put that in and then I'm going to keep reusing this so I have some tear and tape I'm just going to put a little bit of tear and tape on either side there like that backing off and slide it into place so now putting it into place I'm making sure that that solid line that I started with lines up with that edge and now when I get my this is a two inch by two inch wide piece of card I can just place it in there and just make sure that it's between these two lines because this particular side of the paper it's marked off in quarter inch squares this side I could have done it that way that's marked off in one centimeter squares but I generally work in inches so this makes sense to me so by doing that I can now place my card inside 
between the two solid lines there press down and I have a slot it's in the center I don't have to measure ever again so that's nice okay so I hope that's been useful if you'd like more tips and tricks do subscribe to my channel you'll see the little bell icon just below click on that uh, ring the bell and you'll be able to subscribe you'll get a notification every time a new video comes up you can also find daily paper crafting inspiration uh, information and also links to the products that I use from Stampin' Up and that's on my website and that is at www.papercraftwithme.com so thank you once again for watching and I hope you'll join me again soon bye